How bad is it? Oh my god. What is this? Oh my gosh. How did <laughs> Did you guys have to sneak these in? Oh my lord. This video is sponsored by Micro Center. Now, if you haven't heard of Micro Center by now, you are missing out. Micro Center is my go-to store when it comes to anything computer part or tech related. The reason for that is because they have the best prices anywhere. The example I love to use is this. The Micro Center closest to me is in California, four hours away. No matter where I buy stuff online, if I make a four hour trip there and back and buy all the parts there in store rather than buying it online, I would still save money. Micro Center gives such good deals that they are actually giving away some stuff for free right now. If you check the link in the description, you will see that in store, they're offering one per customer, a 32 gigabyte flash drive and a 32 gigabyte micro SD. There's no purchase necessary and it is a limited time offer. Find the nearest Micro Center to you and try to pick one up and maybe make some good deals in store. Thank you so much Micro Center for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it. So it is midnight and we are about to go on a road trip the reason we're going on a road trip is because today is the release of the rtx 3070 and if any of you guys have tried to buy a 3000 series card so far you have noticed that they are all sold out before you can even buy one because people are botting the cards and then flipping them so i figured why not go and try to pick one up in person? So we and Will are going to drive down to Tustin, California, which is about a four hour drive, and hopefully beat the traffic to pick one of these cards up in person. I wanna benchmark it because I wanna see firsthand just how powerful this card is. So I have an RTX 2080 Super inside this PC, and then we are going to compare it to the 3070 if we can pick one up, and I wanna see just how amazing it actually is. Will, you're gonna, Pick this up and, and take it outside and, and load it up into the car. For, no, you you gotta come load it up into the. No, it's fine. I'm just paying you. I don't mind. No, it's cool. I'll unlock the door too. All right, let's get going. So I actually make this drive to LA pretty often, but uh. uh I actually never show the drive. And people have been asking lately, you know, like, hey, what do you do? Like, what actually happens on this drive? And if I'm being honest, you know, we listen to a lot of audiobooks. Hey, Will. Hey. Oh, no. Uh, we talk about our feelings. Money, power, and women. Bro, aren't, aren't you single? And overall, it's just like a really wholesome time. Hey girl, how's it doing baby boo? About to fix your PC and then put some moves on you. Yeah, that's right. You talking to Christopher Yee. If I give you this graphics card, will you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Linus Tech Tips? He is really putting in that extra effort. That content, We're finally here. How bad is it? Uh, okay. Oh my God. Why? It's the, it's the budget for, what is this? Uh, Should I honk at him? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think a million people were gonna be here. I wanted to think that there weren't gonna be a million people here. It's just the 3070. So. You know how we can tell we got a bunch of gamers out here waiting for a new graphics card? They leave their scent everywhere. Wow, that's bad. That's like more than Black Friday bad. Wait, are they doing check-ins? They're doing hourly check-ins. Let's go, let's go see what that guy's doing. All right, so we just showed up and it looks like they have someone that's not even working at Micro Center organizing the line. So, I don't know, 
props to the crowd for trying to get everything in shape and working correctly. But uh, I don't know, I kind of want to figure out how long people have been waiting here. I just want to ask how many how many people are here right now, if you had to guess on the waiting list. Over 200. Over 200? And you said it sounds like they're confident they'll have enough for everybody here? It sound, the way they spoke to me before they went home for the night last night, mm -hmm. uh, they were very confident after 100. We're pushing 200. I don't know what the exact figure is, but the second we get word, mm -hmm. we're going to update the line to let them know what the reality of it is. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, you said you don't work for Micro Center, so like, I just wanted to know, how is it that you came to like manage the line and stuff like that? Fill in my lap. Fill in, oh, okay, okay. Well, sick, good job. All right. Oh, they have a link and everything. Must be present for all check-ins. Check-in times, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m. Dude. <laughs> well, I want to find the guy who's first in line. I want to ask him how long you've been waiting here. Andy. You're the first guy in line, right? Yeah. How long have you been here for? I've been here since Tuesday, 1 p.m. <laughs> so you've been here for over 48 hours? Yeah, I'm like 50 something. Oh my God. <laughs> Are there more people here for the 3070 release than the 3090? No. There was more? The difference between this release and the 3090 was they give a hard number that said, hey, everybody behind them, you basically have no chance. What are you going to use the graphics card for? It's not even for me, man. It's for a commission. Well, my question is, since you've been here the longest, what's the craziest thing that you've seen since you've been out here? It's been pretty civil. Um, I've been very fair. We, we gave... The, the, the reason there was so much contention is that I, I cut... Um, or I didn't even cut. I just had the times there, and there was a cut space where there was a nine-hour gap where people can sleep. Ah. Um, and uh, they had issues with that. Okay. Yeah, they're out here waiting for a 3000 series card. You're not allowed to sleep. Nah, oh, man. Okay, so what's your name, bro? Victor. Victor. How long have you been waiting here? So I came here Wednesday uh, around 6. Uh huh. Uh, so luckily with this, it was really lenient. Like at 7 was the last check in, and the next check in was at 4. And I live like 30 minutes away, so I just drove home. So you've been here for 24 hours? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so my question is, what are you going to do with the card? Why do you want the card? My, my old graphics card is horrible. I had the GTX 745. Oh my god, okay. Hey man, I, I can't run much on that, but I've been, I've been making it work. I've okay. optimized it really good on my PC, but with this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change everything. Yeah. Nice, I got a question. Yeah. So. Has anything crazy happened since you've lined up? No, it's been really well managed. Really? Yeah, okay, it's been good. Really well managed. I don't know, but I've, I've been spending a lot of time in my car because people have been crowding because I've sat like in this area right here. And people have been really crowding in, like, I'm not trying to get cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I've, I've just been chilling in my car, going to sleep. I'm pretty tired, but, I mean, it is what it is. You're almost there. Finish line. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so that is the front of the line. And then that is the loop to the docking bay into two crevices in the parking lot back there, looping all the way finally back around over here. That's, that's actually insane. So, it's about... Five minutes till they open. Let's see if we can talk our way in. Okay, so I may have lied. We might have a card to benchmark here live on campus, but we are also trying to buy one. So, oh, here it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Should we just walk outside and? <laughs> can you imagine? It was just like if I, all these people, like some people, have been waiting out there since Tuesday. I'm just like. Hey! <laughs> so, we have the MSI Gaming Trio. So, our job here today is to benchmark this card, and we want to see how this holds up to an RTX 2080 Super. So, we have the PC out in the car, but before we do benchmark this thing, we get to see the hidden room. Oh my gosh. How did... <laughs> Did you guys have to sneak these in? Oh my lord. These were direct shipped to us. Oh my gosh. How many are, is this? 600. 600. Wow. So, you know, you said there was only like 300 and like 50 people yeah. out there, right? Yeah. So like, if like we don't want these, just. So as it turns out, they have enough for the crowd. That's awesome. 
Oh, and they're starting to go. All right, let's get out of the way. This is so cool. So not only are they prepared to have everyone get a graphics card, they're also giving donuts, coffee, gloves. Micro Center was ready for the 37D drop. Let's go talk to the last people online. Hello. Is this the end of the line? Yes, yeah, sir. I got a, I, I got a question. How confident are you guys that there's going to be any cards left? Uh, seeing the amount of people right now, not very confident. Uh huh. All right. Let's finally find out how good this graphics card actually is. So since we are running off of limited sleep and time, we only have enough time to test three different benchmarks. That's gonna be 3D Mark, Unigen Heaven, and Cinebench R20. The first card is gonna be the RTX 2080 Super, and then we're gonna pop in this bad boy over here. So those are the results for the RTX 2080 Super. It is approaching 23,000 on the Fire Strike test, which is the test that I'm going to be paying closer attention to, which according to it, places it in the 95th percentile of performance for gaming PCs in 2020. In my opinion, this is good enough for anything that you would need for the foreseeable future. However, we are not here for good enough. We're here to see how good it can be. So now, it's time to test this thing and see where it stacks up. Okay, so after running all of the benchmarks on Fire Strike, the 3070 performed about 15% better than the 2080 Super. On Cinebench R15, it performed about 7% better. And then on a Unigen Heaven, the 3070 performed about 12.5% better, which if you were to average all of these scores together, the 3070 performed roughly around 11 to 12% better than the RTX 2080 Super. I know these are not perfect tests, and if I had more time, I would have loved to have run a series of games on this, but just looking at that performance alone and factoring in that this card costs $500 for most models, it is an insane buy. If you are able to get your hands on one of the RTX 3070s, I highly recommend it. I think that the performance that you were getting for the amount that you are paying is unreal and is unparalleled by any other release that we have seen so far. Before we wrap up the video, I wanna give a huge thank you to Micro Center for giving us a day one access to the car and letting us benchmark it in the store while they are busy trying to help customers buy their own RTX 3070s. As far as what we have here, that is the end of the video. So I really just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Sorry for using your workspace. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's get out of here before they notice I took an extra voucher.